everyone, welcome back to my channel. As Infosys released Infosys Springboard applications, a lot of you people are asking me so many doubts. I have already uploaded a video in Telugu about my experience, but then people are asking me to make the same video in English so that they can understand. So friends, this video is for you. When I have applied for this internship, there is no single video in YouTube explaining the process of this internship. And I also searched in Google but could not find any article about that, which made me so confused. So, my main motive of this video is to give you a clarity about my selection process. So, in this video, let us discuss about our application process, course completion, my experience, selection process and about my project. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Wait, wait. If you think this video could be helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, now let's start our video. I am Grishma, currently pursuing third year of B.Tech. While I was in my second year, Infosys released applications for Infosys Springboard Internship 4.0 on early February and I have applied for it within 2-3 to three days. I have selected Python Technology Stack as my domain and I needed to complete all the courses under it before February 18th which was the deadline of the internship. Initially, I found it quite challenging because each course required at least 72 hours to complete and I thought it would be impossible to complete it before February 18th. However, I gave it my whole day to complete the courses and gave my best. During that time, I have a lot of doubts. Like, I have filled the nomination form, but I am unsure because is nomination form and application form are same or different? And I also have doubt that is my application is confirmed or not? And additionally, I also wonder how Infosys Springboard knows whether I have completed the course in the required time. During that time, I found no one to explain. So I directly sent emails to Infosys Springboard and also got replies from them. After clarifying all my doubts, I continued completing my courses until February 18th. The selection process is based on quizzes, assignments and certification exam. Quizzes and assessments can be taken any number of times and the passing score of this is 65%. There is also a certification exam which is in between the courses. It should be written by turning on your camera and it is a MCQ based test. This requires 65% of passing score and I took this exam on February 16 which is before the deadline and I secured 91% score. So I believe that this plays a significant role in my selection process. After completing all my courses, I eagerly awaited for Infosys Springboard email. No specific timeline was given, so I kept waited. Finally, on March 18th, which was one month later, I received a mail from Infosys Springboard stating that I have been shortlisted for the internship and it invited me to join a virtual onboarding event where they have provided the details of the internship. Shortly later, I received another mail from Infosys Springboard for document verification. In this meeting, they will verify all our documents. We had to join in a virtual meeting where all the selected candidates should submit their documents such as college ID and government approved ID like uh, Ada card or PAN card etc. In this meeting, my document verification was successful and then I officially selected as Infosys Springboard intern. My internship was started on March 27 and ended on June 10, lasting for about 10 weeks. After selection, students were divided into groups based on the selected domain. I was placed in a Python domain group which consisted of 30 members. Then we were assigned to a mentor who thought about the basics and assigned a project. Then again we were divided into 6 sub teams each consisted of 5 members. Our team worked on a project called as online food ordering system. We took one and a half month to complete this project. Now I will display it on the screen so that you can see how it is.
after completing our project we had to present it to the infosys judges not only our team every team from selected domain should present their project such as artificial intelligence java python every team during this presentation we had to showcase our project along with a ppt infosys judges praised our work and appreciated a lot in this project we have used python and django framework for backend sql lite database html css and a little bit of javascript for the front end it is also important to note that if you don't meet the certain criteria provided by infosys and do not present your project well you do not get the internship completion certificate i got the internship completion certificate i'll show it for you just have a look that's it friends my internship was very interesting and rewarding it gained me hands on experience which i have not gained through theoretical knowledge alone i also developed my communication skills as i interacted with my team members who come from different states having different languages i also encourage all of you not to miss out any opportunity that comes your way even if you don't know anything about that and don't have skills just give it a try so that you can perform better next time that's it friends if you find this video helpful please give me a like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends so that it could help them thank you everyone